hello welcome to my channel guys so it is breakfast time so today eggs oh i'm all hot because i've been in the in the kitchen on the near the hot stove the freaking fire alarm went off oh i didn't even set up my lighting one minute jesus hey can you see me better okay i hope so like i said i've been in the kitchen cooking breakfast like for the past hour i've made homemade tortillas so that was a struggle in itself okay so here i go let me eat my food because my kids are already annoying the crap out of me trying to pull me in every di different direction pretty good tastes like a tortilla Tastes good. Thank you, baby. I've never tasted this food. Never, never. I never tasted James. I never tasted beans. But I tasted tortillas. I feel bad for my husband because he had to go to sleep because he's going to visit some family out of town today. He worked all night. He's tired, so he's trying to get some sleep before he has to make the long drive with his family members. And they're taking him, my uh, father-in-law and his sister are taking my husband. So they're going to, I don't know, it's a few hours away. Thank goodness for that. He doesn't have to drive. So, I watched... Um, B loves video. I love that she posts every day. And I love the things that she says in her videos. Like they just get me so inspired when I'm down and I feel like, oh, I should quit YouTube. I know I can go to her video and it's going to completely change my mindset. I'm for real. I know you think that that's probably dumb or it's just weird, but I love B loves messages that she, you know, gives to people. I want you to take away from my videos that this is a place you can come to when you want to watch some content and there's nothing on TV. You know what I'm saying? TV shows, all your favorite TV shows, they don't come on every day. And I want to be that channel to where you know you can come to my channel because most likely, nine times out of ten, I will have posted and you can have something to watch. So when you are done binge watching all of your episodes on your favorite show and you're like what do I do what do I do now I mean and you've, we've all been there we're, we're just like now that it's the last episode of your favorite show what do you do well you come here you go to B loves you go to these mukbang channels and just sit there clean the dishes or wash the dishes clean the clothes and while you're doing household chores you can just listen to us in the background that's what I did to B loves I just listened to her in the background and and while I'm cooking, while I'm washing the dishes, and I can just hear B-Loves. And I want somebody to do that with my videos. Somebody to just sit there and listen to me in the background. <sighs> That's a dream of mine. And I'll get there one day. Are you done? My son just got done eating. He's a mess everywhere. So I took him to the sink. Washed his hands, washed his face, and this little boy, I mean, with the quickness, went and grabbed the faucet of the sink and squeezed it and water went everywhere. It was just a total mess. I mean, it's just water, so it's okay. I'm not worried about it. It'll dry. But I'm just like, oh my God, you're doing too much right now. Doing too much right now. <sighs> I just want to do my video. Is that all I, is that, that's all I asked for, you know? I just want to do my video. That's all. As I was saying, B loves. Her messages are amazing. And I want to be that way towards you guys. Whoever's watching, whether it's a friend, a family, a newcomer, I want you to know this is a place where 
you can come and I'm going to be as positive as I can. Except for my drama videos. I like to do little drama videos and I'm just sitting there, you know, giving my two cents, which nobody asked for. But I'm going to say it anyways. And I, uh, when she said in her video, her husband was like, you know, don't give up and, you know, you need to do longer videos and stuff like that. It's crazy because they can say the same thing over and over again and I will still watch it. And I will still retain it and use it in my videos. I listen to their advice and I'm trying to implement it, implement their advice in any way, in every way that I can. And she's like, well, if people tell you your videos are too too long, even if they tell you your videos are boring or this, that, and the other, don't listen to them, you know, just basically, just don't listen to the negativity. And if B-Loves did, if she listened to the negativity that people tell her, she wouldn't have the success that she has now. And when she started, she said that the mukbangs weren't that popular, which it's true because now mukbangs are so oversaturated now. There's so many mukbangers, so many different personalities. You have to stick out from the rest of them. I wish I knew how many times I've had to stop and start this video because my kids want something. B-Loves was saying on her video that she started a long time ago, that her success didn't come overnight. And, oh, I needed to hear that because it's like, I just, I want to reach up to my full potential and I want to to how do I say it? I want my channel to grow and get to a certain success I don't mean to be this way but I feel like I wanted to get there quick quick and I know that's unrealistic but just hearing B love say that it took her a long time it makes me feel better because I discourage myself when I'm like oh I'm not getting enough subscribers I'm not getting enough watch time I'm not getting enough this that and the other when I heard her say, you know, it took her a long time to get to where she's at, it puts things into perspective that it's not going to be overnight. I'm not going to be an overnight success, and that's okay. She wasn't. B Loves was not an overnight success. Look at her now. She put hard work, faith, prayer. If she never quit, she said she had a slow growth at first, and that it's okay if you have a slow growth she she went through that too she was so excited that she got her first 100 subscribers which I was too I was so excited I am still excited that I have 100 subscribers it may not be a lot to some but it is a lot to me and I really appreciate any and every person that took the time to subscribe just then pressing the button subscribe they don't even have to watch my video it's fine I will get there and I'll get better with my camera um, my my camera presence I'll get a lot better and I'll be less, what is it, I'll be less uh, embarrassed and more confident as the years go on or as the days go on. I say years because I could do this for years. I love it. Another thing that I've realized is if your heart is in the right place and you are drama free, you don't wish any bad on people, and if you're an all around or if you try to be an all around good person, good things will happen to you. Blessings will come your way. And I try my best to be positive and uplift others and I want other people to do good. I want like these small channels we're subbing for subbing. I'm going to write in their comment section you know some uplifting things because I want them to stay consistent. I want them to be successful at YouTube just as much as I want myself to be successful. I mean I, I truly and honestly mean that. I want to see others win and if we're on the same path it doesn't mean I'm going to try and get in your way and I don't want you to outdo me and outnumber my videos but I don't like I don't care about all that we all do YouTube and I respect each and every youtuber that's trying to do something with their lives that's trying to grow their channel and I, talk, I talked to my husband the other day there's a youtuber that we watch 
and his name is Kid Behind the Camera, and he has a, some a, two million, maybe three million subscribers. He doesn't have, I don't know, I have to check, but he has a couple million subscribers, and he is hilarious. I just love his videos, and my husband's like, I could do that. He, it ain't nothing. I can, I can build up a, a following just like he could, and I'm like, yes, you can, but it's hard. He's like, no, it ain't. It's not hard. I'm like, yes. It is hard. You try it. I said, I challenge you right now to get a video that's similar to Pickle Boy. That's his nickname. That's similar to Pickle Boy. Make your own channel. Make your own video just like him. I didn't hear anything about it like 30 minutes after that. A lot of people come on here thinking it's... A walk in the park is easy to get in front of these cameras and these lights and and it's not it's hard talking to this lens whenever there's not an actual person staring back at you if you love what you what if you love YouTube and you want to do this as a career you have to love it you have to love what you do in order to do YouTube I love editing I love sitting in front of the camera my thoughts get all jumbled up and mixed up that's the only issue that I have but I like talking to the camera, I like editing, I like the process. So even if I don't hit the numbers that I want to hit, I don't care because I enjoy doing this. And sooner or later, the people will come. And I will appreciate each and every one of them. But it's not easy. It's not easy. Oh Lord. And it's you know what? And it's it's hard for me because of my kids. My little kids, they don't understand why I'm doing this YouTube thing. Um, they'll understand when they get older. They're they're little. I have to worry about childcare. I have to worry about um making sure they're fed. And I mean, I'm a mom. If you're a mommy, you know it's difficult running around for your kids on top of trying to keep a schedule for yourself. Pushing these videos out, it is difficult when I have two little ones. My husband works a lot, so he can't really help with them. But I'm ready for the ride though. I'm ready for the ride. I'm ready to see where this takes me. I'm ready to see how far I can go. I want to show my family that this may be an odd choice. That making videos is an odd thing to do. And I'm pretty weird for getting on in front of a camera and talking. But I'm trying to show them that I'm serious about this and the benefits outweigh the cons. The pros outweigh the cons. Right now it may seem like I'm not doing nothing and I'm not really getting a lot of traction and people don't take notice. But one day, one day I'm telling you. If you're subscribed to this channel, if you're a fan of me, me and you, we're going to go to the top. We're going to pay our dues with on this channel. I'm going to pay my dues and I'm going to do whatever I can to be at the level of a B-Loves channel. What B loves. I just love. I love her channel. I really do. I love her positivity. And I want to be that way. I want to be positive just like her. I can't wait until I'm at a level where I'm just a lot more comfortable with the camera. 
because it's still so foreign to me it doesn't matter how many videos I feel like I feel like I'm never gonna get to the point where I want to be but I'm gonna keep pushing I like a challenge I told my mom too that YouTube has so many successful people that you get you feel like you get lost in the crowd. And let's say my videos never get monetized ever. Let's just say they don't. I don't ever make a dime from this YouTube platform. All I want to do is reach a few people. That's it, just a few people that I could connect with that's all I want like some people to hear me out people to hear my voice because so many times in my life I felt like no one was listening no one was hearing me and this channel is me taking my voice back I feel like I can get on here and speak and people are listening people are hearing me out it's amazing to me it really is it's an amazing platform it's changed so many people's lives at that. So many people has, oh my God, YouTube changed my life. I've, I've, uh, you know, I used to have nothing and um, I'm here. I may not make a dime from this channel, but I know I'm going to get my face out there and get connected with the right people. I won't be in the same spot forever. You know what I mean? I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic for my channel. Just because I'm small now doesn't mean I'm going to be small forever. And my channel is, is just in the baby stages. And... I'm not here to run a race. I'm not here to worry about what the next YouTuber is doing. I'm not here to worry about if I can gain more subscribers than the next person. Mm -mm. I'm not worried about the next person. I'm worried about myself. I just... And, and I, I don't want that to seem... How do I say this? I don't want that to seem arrogant that I'm like, oh, I'm only concerned with myself. No, because I want everyone to win. I really do. But when it comes to... Comparing, I'm not gonna do that. Won't, won't be comparing. Okay. Make oh, make sure to like my videos. Make sure to subscribe. Please, please like the video. I don't even care about anything but subscribing and liking and commenting. Just, just do those things for me, okay? Like, subscribe, and comment on my video. If you are a family of mine, if you are a family member of mine, if you are a friend of mine, if you are just coming across this video and. You don't know what the hell's going on. What you do need to know is to like the video and subscribe. Because I make videos on a regular. I'm active on YouTube. And when you're bored at the house and have nothing to do, I'm here for you. I really am. And if you're a new YouTuber, if you're a smaller channel, please, please comment down below you're a smaller channel. And I will watch your channel. I will comment. It's nothing to me to comment on somebody's page. Like, it's really easy. It's, it's not It's not brain surgery. I just, it's not a problem to me. I can go comment on people's channels in my spare time to support one another. You know? And you do that as well. You go support your small channels. Look at that. Oh my god. These eggs are my favorite food, I swear. I can eat eggs every day, all day. Every meal. Look. Ooh. I'm so freaking sorry. I'm switching over from my camera to my phone. I'm so sorry. It, it. My freaking camera ran out of memory, so I'm just going to switch over to my phone so I can just continue with my video, okay? Don't judge me. It happens to the best of us. One day this won't happen to me, okay? I won't have to be switching phones and cameras and phones. And, uh, just struggle is real. But one day, I'll have extra batteries, I'll have extra memory cards, and I'll be able to continue on and push on without having to switch every two seconds.
if you're going to work today, I hope you have a good day. I hope the other employees don't piss you off. And I hope you just have a good day in general. Because my day today, boy, just working on my nerves already. My son's about to go down for a nap, though, so I've been up since 4 o'clock. But I do want to let B-Loves know I am listening to her words. I'm listening to her messages. And I appreciate her positivity. I know I can go to her channel for business advice, for a positive, uplifting message. I know I can go to her channel for that. And every day she posts, every day, every freaking day. That's the type of workflow I'm trying to be on, posting every freaking day. Like, you got to respect her hustle. You got to respect her grind, no matter what. You may not like her personally. You may not think she is all that. But you got to respect the grind by posting every day. But then again, you probably don't understand it because you're not a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. I know the amount of work and effort it takes to put these videos out. So I can respect her grind and her hustle. I know. I've got some experience in doing these videos. I, well, I mean, I'm not saying I'm a pro at it, but I'm just saying. I know what it's like to be under stress to post videos. And she makes it look easy. That's the thing that gets me with her. She makes it look easy. And I know it's not. I know it's not. Ooh, look at me. Look at me. This was delicious. Hard work and love was put into this food. It was so stressful. And then while I was cooking it, my four-year-old felt the need to be in the kitchen the whole time. She kept on trying to go in and out, in and out, in and out. I'm like, what you doing? What you, what you in here for? Why are you in here? Why? You ever do that to your parents or your peoples and be all up in the kitchen, in and out, and, you, and they try to cook? Boy, I don't remember doing that when I was a little. I mean, I'm not saying I didn't, but I don't remember being all up in the way like that. Oh. Okay, guys, that's it for my video. I appreciate you for watching. Like, comment. If you're a new channel, let me know down below. Do you like homemade tortillas? I just made them today. You know, what? I'm just so proud of myself for making homemade tortillas. I didn't do the measure measuring. I just did them, and it came out beautiful. Homemade eggs. I mean, homemade beans. It was it was delicious. Now I'm gonna give you something to drink. I'm gonna edit my video. What time? What time is it? Oh Lord. It's 9 14 and I'm just getting that eaten. Ain't no way my video's gonna be edited on time. But look, I'm not gonna let that get me down. 
I'm going to continue to put my videos out. I'm not going to put myself under stress about it. I'm not going to be wondering, they need to subscribe. They're not, they're not subscribing. They're not doing this. They're not doing that. And I ain't worried about it. I'm going to just put myself out there for you to judge. And you can make that decision on whether or not you're going to stick around and you're going to support me. It's all up to you. The ball is in your court. You know, so anyways, I'm going to let go ahead and go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're anybody who took the time out to subscribe, I so appreciate you because, you know, I'm a little lame and I don't have no friends in real life. I don't talk to nobody but my husband and my kids and they're jerks sometimes. I'm not going to lie, they're jerks. And like I talk to my mom every day. Every day I talk to my mom because I have no friends. She's the only person I can vent to when my husband's getting on my nerves. So... This is, this is amazing for me to be able to have a platform where people support me. I'm not used to it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not used to the support. It's, it's quite amazing. But thanks. Bye.